Hello and welcome to the user's tutorial for Riskier's VC Glitcher. In this video, we will show you how to build a simple setup for glitching a smart card using VC Glitcher, and some useful tips for your setups. VC Glitcher is Riskier's basic tool for fault injection. In this concept, the user tries to change the internal electrical states of the device and observes the results. This is done by causing electrical disturbances in the form of glitches. These glitches can be applied in the voltage or even in the clock line of the device with the help of VC Glitcher. The form of the glitches is made by the control logic and the exact time of the glitch is defined by the CPU. Lastly, the switch introduces the glitch to the target. The target can be a smart card or an embedded device. Let's start by powering our perturbation device, the VC Glitcher, using the power supply unit of 15 volts. Next, let's connect VC Glitcher to our computer using the USB cable. Through Inspector, we will be able to formulate and submit glitches to the power line of the smart card. We will also use an oscilloscope, so if the channel A input is 1 mega ohm, add the provided impedance adapter of 50 ohms. The oscilloscope is used to show us the power consumption of the smart card, so we must connect channel A to the power monitor port of VC Glitcher using an SNB to BNC signal cable. Don't forget, connect a low pass filter to the input channel after the impedance to filter out the noise. Lastly, you need to trigger the oscilloscope to start recording the power consumption of the smart card, so connect the trigger out port of the VC glitcher to the external channel of the oscilloscope. Now you can insert the smart card and perform a perturbation, but be careful, you must insert the card upside down with the contact pads forward. Good luck with your glitching!